Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. Hi, I'm Speeder. Okay, uh, welcome back to another Breath of the Wild playthrough video. This is Zips 2. Sorry if I'm being more awkward than usual. My sister's in the room this time. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, so. Last episode, we got to our first objective, which was the Great Plateau Tower. And in this episode, the objective is to get the first shrine. I know these are very short objectives, but there's other things that I want to do in between. So, so these are probably going to be pretty short videos anyway. and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long, dormant power has spoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Hmm. Well now, a voice, you say? And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No, tell me not. Hmm. I see. Well, this is unfortunate. I assume you got sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. Hmm. Okay. Alright. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the Kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building up its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. <coughs> hmm. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. My, sis my sister has decided that she suddenly wants to do a workout in the middle of a video that I'm making. So that's fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think she has a goal to like... <laughs> get a six pack or something by the end of the year. And so now she's suddenly doing an ab workout. <laughs> While I'm doing a video. Thank you so much, S. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Anyways, here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Can you shut up? <laughs> Please? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I want... S? <laughs> Please? <laughs> I keep almost calling you by your real name, okay. <clears throat> If you were to jump off well, no death would be more certain, or more foolish. Oh. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite a different other oh. story. Oh, that's... Oh, certainly, why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Hmm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Main quest begins. The isolated plateau. 
<coughs> Come on, let me show you something. And now we are in for the old man walking so freaking incredibly slowly, it's insane. Hmm. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. <coughs> The funny thing is, if you climb up and down the Great Plateau, in like the middle of the game, or, like even near the beginning, you can successfully do so without dying, without the paraglider. So, uh, yeah. I don't know how reliable your information is, old man. I don't know. Seems a little fishy to me. Are you able to be quiet? <laughs> I know! <clears throat> Alright, let's snipe this guy. Sneaking, when I can just go in there and pummel all of them. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> wow, that's great animation. Let's not. <laughs> oh my god! That is a first. I have never seen that one. Wow. <laughs> okay, we'll call one. I didn't even need to kill that one. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna throw a rock at my friend. I'll kill him for you. No big deal. <clears throat> I am actually gonna cook something though. Really? Okay. Filming! <laughs> Chaos. Oh my gosh. Yes, mother? <laughs> you fixed my glasses? Can't fix my gl Got new glasses? Oh, okay. Uh. Yes. Thank you. I- I won't step on them this time. <laughs> uh-huh. So, uh, this might be the realest episode I've ever done, because, uh, <laughs> this is, this is life. Anyways, I don't get my own room, so, this, yeah, this is fun. Okay. <coughs> Keep cooking. <sighs> Do I have permission to divulge your real name on my channel? Okay. Sarah, can you shut up? <laughs> Please? Okay, sorry, that was harsh. Um, <clears throat> what I mean by that, listeners, uh, is I mean... You be a little bit more quiet. In a nice way. I know, I know, you're doing an ab workout. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love you too. 
killed a sword. Decent reward. I will come back for these boxes, but I don't want to waste my sharp weapons on them. So I'm gonna wait till I get a certain rune. That will be very helpful. As clarification, the whole name thing, I have to have permission from one of my siblings to divulge their name, um, but I'm not allowed to divulge my name as per my father's rules. So that's why I was able to say my sister's name, is because she gave me permission to say her name. There you go. Just give them clarification. <laughs> No. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. <clears throat> and we are here. The objective location. Oh, frick, I skipped it. Sorry. That's habit. <laughs> At the objective location for this episode. Finish the shrine, put a couple more things around it, and that'll be it for this one. <coughs> to you, sets foot in this trial, I go open awe. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Magnesis trial. Alright, first shrine of the game. Magnesis Trial. First, we go here and collect our room. Magnesis. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Grab onto the metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis rune. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Rune extracted. time I did this shrine, I had really messed up Joy-Cons, it was really bad, and I could not beat that first Guardian. In fact, fun fact, or maybe not so fun fact, I've never actually beat Water Blight Ganon, um, <laughs> because the first time I played this game I was a complete noob to gaming, and so I literally gave the controller over to my brother, Paylar, and had him beat it for me, like halfway through the fight. So, uh, yeah. It'll actually be me fighting Water Blight all the way through for the first time in this playthrough. So, unfortunately, yeah. <clears throat> One thing that 
has always bothered me in the shrine is that people don't use their camera. Um, like, I'll watch people do the shrine. People just don't use their camera. Even if it's not a blind playthrough, they just ignore this chest completely. <laughs> has what is now our best bow in it, so, yeah. Another thing, if you look here, if you hover over a shrine, if there's a treasure box next to it, that means you have all of the uh, chests in the shrine. If there isn't one, that means you are you either didn't collect the items in the chest, or you haven't found one of them, or more than one of them, depending. <laughs> Sarah? <laughs> you have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Omen Awe, the creator of this trial. I don't even know if I'm saying that name right. <laughs> I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess highly and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit. symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? Hmm. Clairvoyance! Oh, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own one's own one's own eyes. Wow, I can't speak apparently. However, that which however, that which was hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> but perhaps that is not true for everyone. <laughs> The appearance of these towers and the awakening of the shrine. Hmm. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your head there. What do you mean? Oh. It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe, known as the Sheikah, inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think that to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paragraph. That wasn't the deal. Hmm. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure you won't be. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like yourself. No, I'm right around again, whatever. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Got it. <laughs> I know your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something before else before we go. <coughs> Take a look at the map on your Sheikah Slate. Oh. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke up, the shrine you came from, and the tower. 
You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Hmm. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. I think you do. Okay. Oh, we have magnesis. Just a couple things I want to do real quick. I don't have the DLC. I have played the DLC. Well, I've played with the DLC, but I haven't actually done, like, the DLC DLC parts of the game. I will do that eventually when I actually own the DLC. I've played my brother's version, my brother's copy, but never this, so none of the EX stuff is on here. Amber. A fossilized resin with a caramel-esque sheen to it. It has been valued as a comp as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. A valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. Times five. A bundle of five fire arrows. Fire arrows break apart of impact, igniting objects in the immediate area. Incredibly effective against cold things. Ice arrow times five. A bundle of five ice arrows. Ice arrows break apart on impact, freezing objects in the immediate area. Incredibly effective against hot things. something, like a Korok or something like that. Ah, 
Ah, oh, no, it was here. For, sorry, second objective, and the objective for this episode has been completed. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm aware it's a good song. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry about the weirdness in the background. Um, <laughs> I will see you guys next time.